Hello and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlett, and let's talk about something phenomenal. What I have in front of me is one of the best straps ever made. And that is the Phenomenado strap. Honestly, this is the best NATO style strap on the market, and they definitely warrant an in-depth review. Now, every one of these straps comes with two hardware options, either brushed, like this is, or polished. Every one of these straps comes in two lengths, either short or long. Short being for individuals with a six and a half inch wrist or lower, and long being for individuals with a larger wrist, much like mine, six and a half and up. You can only purchase these in two widths, 20 millimeters and 22 millimeters. If you have a watch that's either 20 or 22, buy one of these straps. I also want to say that I'm not, I'm not being paid for this review. And as you guys know, I usually start with bad and then move on to good. There's honestly nothing bad I have to say about this strap. I've used these uh, for at least a year now and I've got a diversity of options. There's literally nothing bad about this strap and that's why I'm just excited to talk about these again. I know I've talked about these in the past. They're honestly one of the best nylon straps. I get people asking me all the time like what, what they should get. Uh, the thing is for the price, you're just not going to do better because these guys run at $40 a piece. And with four different color options, that being this Admiralty Gray, which is in front of me, black, we have navy blue, and we also have Bond, which is black with two gray stripes. With a range of options and just a fantastic build quality, you cannot go wrong if you are looking for a NATO style strap for your tool watch. Why don't we start with the first major good point, that being the thickness of this strap. One length of fabric is 1.2 millimeters thin. So guys, you're not adding much girth to your watch by placing it on there like this because it is thin as heck. It's, it, that alone puts it in, you know, a best of category for any, you know, watch commentator, but genuinely it's on, on a day-to-day -day basis, just the thin scale of this strap makes it superiorly wearable to anything else I've ever owned. Thinness aside, you have some of the finest like weaving and stitch work I've seen on a strap. You know, there's like minor details that go into the weave. You'll notice that the center is a little bit looser weave and then you have a separate weave that's tighter lining the outside perimeter of the strap. And you can sort of make out that detail here. It's actually a little bit lighter in tone and you can see how it sort of outlines the strap. And it thins it up just a little bit more but also gives it just a little bit more character than your typical nylon strap. Now this is the long version of the strap and you can tell that, again, one of those nice qualities I like to mention about, there's a multitude of holes here for you to size this watch onto your wrist. So you're always gonna get the perfect fit despite you know the length of your watch, which usually throws off how these holes fit. Just how this hugs the top of your wrist um, really does change how it will wear on the bottom. But with you know this many perforations, it's very easy to find the right fit for yourself. Again, you have really fine stitch work here in regards to the keeper and buckle being stitched into place. And they are very confident in this buckle and I've had no complaints with it. I've never had to remove it for any reason, but this doesn't use a spring bar system. If it did, it would be a much thicker buckle because they want to keep the profile thin, they've actually stitched into place a very fine, slightly curved buckle. And the curvature of this buckle really does help, again, with the wearability of the strap on your wrist. And I've had no problems with this buckle. Again, I've never had to take this buckle off, so I don't care that it doesn't have a spring bar. The second thing I'd like to mention about this strap that makes it phenomenal, as the name would suggest, is this keeper right here. Some of you may be accustomed to this by now because a lot of people have been following this trend, but the keeper closest to your buckle being a floating keeper. They've executed it so finely here that there's, there's a huge range of motion for this keeper. And what this allows you to do is cinch in the strap when it's rolled over your wrist and you have that extra length of fabric. You can actually see like how mine's sort of bent into a natural position now, because that's actually where I snap that moving keeper in place. 
Of course, I'm going to illustrate the utility of this moving keeper in just a moment when I have it on the wrist, but trust me, if you've ever worn a NATO, you want this moving keeper. It makes life so much nicer. So without further ado, I think we should look at this strap on the wrist. Now here is what the strap is gonna look like on your wrist. And of course, before I um, go ahead and cinch this down, I'm not going to proffer any sort of application as to how you should wear your NATO. Everyone has a different manner of wearing their NATO. I'm just gonna show you in our B cam here how I typically wear mine and how this floating keeper makes life phenomenal. So this is how the strap is gonna wear on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Again, this is the long version of the strap, so you've got a lot of extra fabric. Oh my gosh, guys, secret. Get the longest NATO you can. Always, always get the longest NATO you can, because you know what, you want this extra piece of fabric, you really do. Yeah, it makes life so much easier when you're trying to fit your NATO on. I can't tell you how infuriating it is when you have a little piece of strap left and you're trying to curl it back through those keepers that are immobile impossible. It just frustrates me to no end. And it's probably why I really only wear personally these Phenomenados because it's just, let me just, let me just illustrate. With your Phenomenado on the wrist, you're going to want to roll your strap back through the loop and send it towards the buckle. And once you have it about here, you're going to send that second keeper down, brother. Oh my gosh, this is, this is the best part. This is the most satisfying part of wearing this strap. Just Letting this hover anywhere you want, just anywhere you want on that strap. Oh, you know, I hope this is as satisfying for you guys as it is for me. I'm going to do it one more time because you know what? I, I, I decide. I decide. The strap doesn't decide. I decide how this strap wears on my wrist. And genuinely, that's what makes this phenomenal. This is the best feature of this strap. And, you know, in relation to the length of the strap itself and the build quality, all of those things culminate to the satisfying moment where you place that second keeper on and it fits perfectly. You remember how it was flip-flopping around earlier? It's not anymore. And you know what? It, it wears superiorly well to the competition. It's just one of those great straps, honestly. I, I've, I've reviewed a lot of accessories. I have a bunch of boxes laying around the house. These are, the phenomenon straps are always the ones I go back to because of how wearable they are and how comfortable they are. And they just look great. The cut, fit, and finish of everything is great. You know, my watch promptly on top of my wrist, the buckle, the polar opposite direction on the back end of my wrist. You have the keeper over here, over at would be the nine o'clock position. And then over at the three o'clock, you have this curled up extra piece of fabric that isn't going anywhere. Because you know what? These metal keepers, the, the, the floating keeper does not move at all. I have never had the floating keeper fall off an extra piece of strap dangle around. It's never been an issue, not, not once. So I, I can attest to that. It's, it's been a very, very great daily wearer. Now I've heard people compare these Phenomenados to the Omega Bond NATO that is very similar in build quality. As a matter of fact, I'm probably sure they they come from the same factory. I'm just gonna venture a guess because I've seen those in person and they look very, very, very similar, except those are perhaps three times the cost of these. So, guys, if you own an Omega and you wanted a NATO for the Omega, just, just get one of these instead. You know, save yourself the trouble. You know, this video is honestly just to let you guys know that if you're gonna wear a NATO, and I'm usually wearing bracelets, I'm almost always wearing bracelets, but if you're gonna have to wear a NATO, just get one of these. It's just, it, it's the one you need to get. It's so good, it's so nice. Again, I wish I was getting paid for my opinion here because I have nothing but good things to state. But it's just so true that Akos did a very fantastic job with these. They're, they're all constructed in Hungary, I believe, but whatever they're doing in that factory is magic. And here's the cool part. Here is the super, super cool part. I have a bunch of these sitting in boxes in my house, just completely unused. And, and I genuinely only need the Admiralty Grey. So maybe, just maybe expect to see a bunch of these fly elsewhere into the world, into the loving hands of subscribers of this show. Um, because Akos was kind enough, he, he owns and operates Phenomenado. He was kind enough to send me a bunch of these. I've got three more of these in the box that 
I just really want to share with you guys. I mean, if you've never experienced one and you want to experience one, I do giveaways on the channel. Expect to see a giveaway with the Phenomenator strap. Ah, it's just, it's, it's the, it's the best. It's so good. It's so good. And I want you guys to experience it too. So if $40 was too much to begin with, which I, it, it's not, but if you want to try one of these on, again, look out for that giveaway. Um, I know some of you come here just for the content. That's awesome. But I know some of you are hungry to try some of the accessories I get to try. So this is one of the ones I would definitely recommend jumping into. If you've not tipped your hat into the giveaway pool, um, this is the one. This is the one you should try out. Okay, I'm putting this to the side. Uh, again, I've just three boxes of these. I think I'm gonna talk more about these in the actual giveaway. Um, I've just been, I've just had these for such a long time and I have mapped out how I've done the giveaways to such that we've got miles of giveaways ahead of us. But this is something I want to put uh, together for the holiday season so you guys can get something really awesome at the end of December. Anyway, I did not mean to mention the giveaway in this video. It's, it's honestly sharing, you know, how I feel about accessories and watches is a sheer pleasure for me. But getting to actually physically share the things I enjoy most with you guys is, is making this all the better for me. Uh, that's why I do the giveaways. You know, it's all out of pocket and, it, you know, facilitating this is, is the least of my problems. I just, it's very fun that I get to do this with you guys. So I do hope you join that giveaway because I want you to try, I want you to try these. The only thing it's missing is an amazing smell. You know, it doesn't smell like fine leather, but everything else is really good. So gang, again, if you want something phenomenal on your wrist, I would highly recommend you check out Phenomenato. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check out their site. It's very, very simple easy to go through. I think there's three categories at the top that list their items, you know, FAQ about the, uh, you know, the straps they sell, and then obviously a very brief about section and concerns to the group. Do check them out. Guys, if you liked this video and found it informative or useful in the least, feel free to hit that like button. It looks something like this. If you have friends, forums, or groups that enjoy watch content, well then you and your friends might have found a good home here. So feel free to share this video and all videos like this on my channel with them so that we can build our community just a little bit stronger. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet to the show, what is going, what is going on? Gang, I do videos like this twice a week. That is reviews, accessory reviews, interviews, vlogs, some random one-off videos every now and then. Um, but twice a week. So if you enjoy this content, maybe, maybe subscribe at this point. It's a good idea. And also next to that subscribe button, there is a little bell icon. It will notify you when my videos release. So if you want to be privy to, you know, an early giveaway, or you want to be privy to my most recent review, that's a good way to see when my content comes out. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette and thank you for the time.